Welcome everyone back to weekly weather updates and in today's video we're going to have a look at the latest from the live radar run for the UKV, have a look at the precipitation and the temperature over the next five days we've still got another couple of days of very chilly conditions with overnight frosts and temperatures in the days hardly getting much above 10 degrees. Into the weekend we are going to see slightly milder conditions but we are also going to see a lot more rain especially further southwards with the slow moving areas of precipitation and especially saturday night into sunday we could see some really quite heavy rain moving up from su through southern and eastern areas as we head into next week that pattern looks likely to continue with low pressure sat to our south we could eventually start to pull in something a bit milder and potentially even some warmer air into the first couple of days of may but again, that is under lower pressure influence, so it's likely, as we saw in yesterday's video, to have heavy showers and maybe even thunderstorms. Now, there isn't much point looking beyond that because we are getting towards the 10 day time frame and beyond where we are seeing a lot of uncertainty. But I must say a couple of the runs today are bringing back colder conditions after that. Even the ECWF, which is one of the more reliable runs, is showing a pretty quite strong northerly blast at day 10. Uh, as we head into early May, not what we wanting to want to see. So yes, could turn milder next week. We'll probably be still be wet, but some of the runs are starting to show hints that it could go colder once again. So do remember if you enjoy my videos, make sure you like and subscribe, and remember to follow me on Twitter as well. The links in the description. Now, if you start on the live radar, you can see that we've actually had quite a bit of light to moderate rain around today, especially this area of precipitation that's headed across, uh, that's moved sorry across the Midlands and hours in south southern and eastern england now it isn't particularly heavy but it's got a lot of thick cloud light to moderate precipitation and it has kept those temperatures down really quite cold uh, today uh, and you can see that for many areas it's felt like a, a winter's day not a second half to spring or even late springs day like we can we can kind of get this time of year that we're almost expecting to see um a lot of people expecting to see 20 degrees and we're not seeing that we're seeing these really horrible eight or nine degrees many areas have said not getting into the double digits it's all because we've got cold upper air temperatures and then the cloud and the rain on top of that really not allowing the sun to do anything to this cold air now you can see this evening where it's been chilly today especially these eastern areas which are still trapped under cloud and the rain here still sort of seven to nine degrees now temperatures will fall away tonight but mainly where we see clearer skies so actually in the south and the east it is going to remain cold but the actual thermometer temperatures probably won't actually drop all too much because of the thicker cloud it will hold any little warmth at the surface in whereas elsewhere we're likely to see all of that warmth that we've accumulated at the surface today especially uh, ireland northern ireland scotland northern england that's going to radiate away and that's where we could see frost so yes coldest in the day in the south and the east but actually probably mildest at night now do have a look at the latest ukv now you can see that over the course of the rest of this evening we are going to continue to see that precipitation slowly clearing through the south and the east if i just zoom in there you can see where we have clearer skies further northwards we could see a few showers but we are likely to see those temperatures drop away we'll have a look at those temperatures in a minute and then as we head into tomorrow it actually is looking like another relatively unsettled day in places but mixed with some brighter conditions further northwards so you can see a bit of rain in the south and the west and that is where we're seeing this cutoff low starting to develop further northwards quite a few sporadic showers around a few of them wintry but nothing too major as we head overnight into saturday we could see a frost again where we see clearer skies and then we start to see rain pushing into the south you can see it's very slow moving it doesn't look too intense uh, uh, too high in terms of intensity but you can see that it does persist through much of saturday morning eventually dissipating into the afternoon and then we see another batch of rain moving in through saturday night into sunday and that could give some really heavy rain in places as we head into the final few days of april now as we head through the rest of sunday actually turns brighter in the afternoon so very wet start but turns brighter sunshine and the wind coming in from the west those temperatures might climb maybe even mid to high teens for a time and that does continue into monday as well but you start to see more rain moving in 
and this is because we see the next low pressure system arriving you see here mean sea level pressure starting to sit to our west and to our south in this sort of scenario it is drawing more of a southeasterly in so we are likely to see milder air masses pushing in but it is still going to be unsettled so we're kind of swapping drier or relatively dry and cold conditions for wetter but milder conditions now if you put in the upper air temperature you can see it's cold at the moment that's why it feels so cold out there and that's why the temperatures are generally quite cold and we're seeing frosts even further north and westwards where we're seeing warmer sunshine you can see though as we head through the weekend it still remains chilly especially into the start of saturday but slowly as we transition through sunday into monday the temperatures slowly rise and we start to see a bit of, a bit of milder air starting to creep into the southeast for the final day of april so this this slightly milder spell i've been talking about potentially arriving next week but as i said the uncertainty really is what happens with after that and with the precipitation associated with that because even if we did see very warm upper temperatures if it's just full-blown rain all day then i don't think many people will appreciate those uh, warmer temperatures at all it would just be a generally a miserable kind of pattern but hopefully we do see something brighter out there you see this afternoon temperatures hardly getting into the double digits in many areas especially we've seen those precipitation and thick cloud you can see overnight tonight pretty much northern england north wales northern uh, northern ireland and scotland seeing frosts where we have clear skies as said earlier in the video really is cloud temperatures still mid to high single digits clear skies even though it's been milder in the day frosts quite widely as we head into friday again temperatures still pretty chilly but creeping more into the double digits in the south that's because we're seeing a bit more sunshine and less rain as we progress through friday into saturday again another widespread frost further north it's really quite strong actually and yeah as i said really quite widespread um not just only country uh, countryside but pretty wide spread even into towns and cities there as we into saturday afternoon again pretty chilly still especially we have some rain and some cloud across the midlands but far south 14 15 degrees and into sunday when that rain's cleared again 14 maybe 15 degrees temperatures climbing up and then as we progress into monday look at that maybe even 16 or 17 degrees so definitely a little bit of an improvement there as we head into the latter part of april just because we're slightly altering that wind direction and seeing slightly warmer upper end temperatures but again i'll emphasize there's nothing to really write home about at this stage we just have to keep a very close eye on any updates with that pattern and uh, see what we're going to potentially have as we head into early may now do look at the latest year first you can see why it's so unsettled and cold high pressure up towards greenland northerly flow low pressure trapped over the top of us now over the coming days that high pressure to our north kind of moves away it's still there but doesn't have as much influence on us and we see low pressure sat to our south this kind of spins around in really quite horrible conditions in many areas with that rain overnight saturday into sunday eventually though the wind direction does change and that brings out that southeasterly end which is milder but low pressure is still nearby so it will probably still be pretty unsettled however look at this as we head into the following week we see high pressure starting to build in now we're not firmly sat under the middle of the high so there would be transient areas of cloud maybe a bit of drizzle maybe a bit of rain but definitely more of a positive pattern but pretty typical from the runs recently it starts warm starts with high pressure over the top of us but into the extended range it tries to put that high further northwards which starts to allow colder air to seep in if we see it more amplified jet stream so instead of the high pressure being content sitting over the top of us it heads northwards and it's all a feedback loop from uh the southern stratospheric warming we saw a couple of months ago this is all the fruition from that and yeah unfortunately it is allowing these sort of colder more uh sort of miserable patterns to persist into sort of the second half of spring now if you compare to the gm again very similar with low pressure sat to our south with northeasterly winds at the moment eventually southeasterlies arrive by early next week but still under lower pressure however look as, as we head towards day 10 it's not as potent as we'll see from the east WF in a minute but nonetheless it starts to attempt to push in a northeasterly wind and you see there's a bit of cold heading our way now by no means is it as cold as the eastern wf gets or as cold as it is now but it's still below average 
And if we do zoom in on the United Kingdom look, again, temperatures struggling towards that 10 to 12 degree mark. And this is, to, we're talking about early May here, where temperatures could be getting up towards the mid 20s um, at times, maybe even touching 30 degrees potentially. So yeah, really, really putting uh, any summer or proper spring-like conditions on hold with winter holding on if this did come off. Now, if you compare to the East Blue F, which I said is a bit more extreme, a very similar over the next few days, I won't repeat myself, but again, low pressure south to our south, but eventually, very similar to the GM, high pressure back towards Greenland, and it opens the floodgates to northerly winds. And this time, those isobars are a little bit stronger, a little bit straighter, and bring in more of a direct northerly in. And you can see cold front sweeping through with some very cold air for the time of year heading our way. This is the sort of scenario that can bring snow to areas in early May, especially higher ground, but you could even rule out to low-lying areas in some heavy showers. Um, so pretty extreme indeed. And you can see we really are tapping into the remnants of winter over the North Pole. Looks like here we're almost the coldest at our latitude, so really not good at all if that did come off. But as I said, right in the end of the runs, so a lot can change between now and then. If you compare finally to the ensembles, again you can see chilly over the next couple of days, but back towards average for the weekend. Into the next week, we are above average for a time for a few days with higher precipitation. But then look at that, a few runs, maybe even a third of runs start to go cold. Once again, in the ensemble mean just about drops below average. Now, this is the GFS, which is not really showed much in terms of cold weather as we head beyond the 5th of May. So beyond that sort of day 10 time frame. But some of its ensembles definitely are suggesting something of that magnitude. Again, dew points cold at the moment and trending cooler in the longer term. The same can be said for the two meter temperatures. It's always going to have an upwards trend this time of year because we are heading towards summer, but cold at the moment, back towards average by the weekend, maybe even above average into next week. And then potentially a few runs dropping us back off towards 10 degrees or so. It's highly unlikely in May, unless we saw a really cold pattern to see temperatures not getting into the double digits uh, as we're just too close to summer for that really to occur without, as I said, anything extreme. But still, it would be chilly if that sort of pattern like the Eastern Blue F run did come off. And you can see here, if we look at the latest on songs in the Eastern Blue F, below average over the next few days, trending back towards average for the weekend and above average for a few days next week. And then look at that as we head into that period from around the 5th to 10th of May, below average, quite significantly below average from a lot of the ensemble members. So that really does not look great at all, does not bode well if we want something warmer to persist. Perhaps this kind of slightly warmer pattern next week could just be a blip in this longer term below average trend we are seeing. But only time will tell. We can only really focus on the next few days. We do have some certainty. And what I can say is it's cold now. We'll turn milder into the weekend, but really only getting back to average. But it is going to be turning increasingly unsettled. So anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you again for another video soon.